Hey, thanks for joining me on my sixth video for building a mini snow cat. In this video, I'm going to take uh, these four pieces of plate steel. These are going to be used at the front of the machine to mount the drive track uh, bearings as well as the hydraulic motors. To be able to get a good layout of uh, where I need all the holes, I've done a layup in Visio and printed it out uh, to scale on an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper. What I'm going to do is transfer all of these uh, drill locations with a center punch and then drill it out on the mill and drill. And as you can see, there are four holes through the plates that will be used for the bearing mounts. The top, bottom, left, right will be mounting holes for the hydraulic motors and then these four outer corner ones will actually be used to uh, clamp the four pieces of plate together just so that everything stays aligned while I'm drilling it and then they'll also be used for assembly I'm gonna use some half inch threaded rod to uh, to stand up the plates on end and the threaded rod will allow me to uh, adjust the spacing very accurately so I'm going to go ahead and transfer these markings over and then get this set up in the mill drill. pieces of uh, quarter inch plate uh, mounted up on the table of the mill and drill and I used some sacrificial pieces of square tubing just so that uh, it sits above the, the table and I punch through I don't end up damaging that table any. I'm just gonna push that bit through freehand I'm not gonna use the worm gear drive just to give me a little bit better control on uh, the pressure that I'm applying to the drill bit. And so now I'm gonna just use a odd size sacrificial drill bit to pre-drill all of these holes. And then once I've got them all pre-drilled, we'll go back through with a half inch bit and uh, drill them to the right size. So I've drilled out all of the pilot holes in this plate. I've switched over to a half inch drill bit and reduced the speed to 300 RPM. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill out all of these uh, pilot holes now except for the middle one. Uh, that will be the guide for a uh, hole saw. I'm going to use a three and a quarter inch hole saw to drill two of these plates. That'll be used for the hydraulic motors. And the other two plates will be the, the bearing mounts for the track drive shafts. So I'm gonna set up and drill these half inch holes now. inch holes drilled. I put some half inch bolts in and sandwiched all of these plates together to make one monolithic piece of steel just to keep everything aligned while I'm drilling it. And uh, now I'm gonna switch out the half inch drill bit for uh, a hole saw and we're gonna start to drill the three and a quarter inch hole for the motors. I managed to drill out the three and a quarter inch hole 
Well, I just grabbed a inch and an eighth hole saw for the middle there. That was the sharpest hole saw in the kit. And we got this drilled out. The, uh, the next task to do on this piece, uh, I probably won't do tonight. Uh, I'm gonna set up for another part in just a minute. All right, so this is the next part of the video. I'm going to basically do the same thing that I did for the motor mounts. Um, those are an SAE A size uh, mounting hole, so that's three and a quarter, and it has the appropriate bolt hole centers. And I'm just going to use the same template uh, to lay out the center of the hole that we need to drill for the hole. Uh, sorry, the three and a quarter inch hole, and then the same uh, mounting bolt holes. And we're going to do one for the left pump and one for the right pump. Same deal, cutting it out, and uh, yeah, I'll get some video of that now. finished. Uh, the holes turned out really nice. I'm very pleased with uh, their spacing. I find that using the printout template, transferring with uh, a center punch works really well. I get really accurate results, about as nice as you could want it to be. And uh, yeah, here we go. The pumps fit nicely into the two holes that uh, have been drilled for the SAE a sized hole and uh, yeah, got just enough space in between to get the control set up and uh, get everything connected anyway thanks for checking out this video and we will see you in part seven of the mini